be. It was just a nightmare. Alice. There you are. Hartman. I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let, let go. 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 Groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Hey guys, welcome back to Alan Wake. Where we last left off, we were at the coal mine. We were supposed to get to Mirror's Peak and then we sort of kind of ended up here. After a whole long convoluted series of events that... Hello, Dr. Hartman. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah, I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. And now my vision is returned to normal. Wonderful. Give me a moment. I'm just gonna, what's it? Turn off my Steam notifications really quick. Ding, 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 ding. Done. Okay. Oops. Let's have it. And this let's go. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Like I, I encourage are stuck in the creativity as a <laughs> part of the recovery what are you doing process here? here at Cauldron Pause. Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Maybe. This way, Alan. Oh, I can enter the patient's rooms. I don't know. Let's just follow the story. Why are we going into an... This old-timey elevator doesn't look too nice. It's made of wood. How in the world do you make an how do you, how in the world do you make a lift out now, of wood? Alan, from past <gasps> experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Whoa, what we go the this hell? way, Alan. I it's wasn't ready for another effect. shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Well, this still is still it's well, this is still a pretty head. game. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has. Oh, look, the killed. lake. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you in your mind? You're BRB, a Dr. Hartman. By nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logic. Dang it. Well, I guess we'll be returning here again to get that thermos or coffee. For now, we we'll just follow the doctor. The balding doctor, as it were. <laughs> Ooh, a sundial. I like these sort of things. What's this? What does this say? 
Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Thomas Zane, in the memory of a dear friend and a poet. In tenebras cadere, or however, however the hell you say that in Latin. I'm giving... I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, it isn't like it? Mordor. Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It's still a very pretty game. Let's put it, it this way. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. Where is the this storm way, front? Follow me. Where is it? I don't know. Alan, Whatever, let's what keep I'm going. telling you is good news. I just forgot. I realized right I set my timer. Control. Oops. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and, and more gotta, difficult to resurface. Where is my the timer? Depths of your my iPod. No, that's my calculator. Not surprising, considering your profession. There you are. Imagination is what you work with. Uh oh. Darkness After falling. After all your doctor. nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into myself, the palms of my no. hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Okay, but I don't see how this is any closer to getting me to that coffee thermos. Because I want that coffee thermos. Come along. Thank you. Let's go inside. I want that thermos. Get out of my way. Dude, you look obs really, really quick. So Never here's mind. the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. I don't have time for you. I don't have time for that. I've got coffee to get. Coffee. Scary, scary, mm. scary. Coffee. <laughs> Where is that guy going anyway? Hmm, there's a Hardly generator. Had mentioned right here. that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Hmm. Please. Puzzling. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash. <laughs> it does involve I'll some small today. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. And a little, little insult to all the video game programmers and stuff out there. Come, Alan, this way. I specialize in treating writers, but this doesn't mean that everyone else here isn't room. crazy. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. What's this? Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and appearance of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by the creative process. <gasps> In one breath. Oh, there's more. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you are voluntarily engaging, tre oh, receiving treatment that has been blah, 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 that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy (TM) and the system method, the flow (TM) work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Ding. There's a lot of reading. Oh, where is he? There he is. Squeaky hammer. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm! Hey, I recognize Alvin you wipes too. this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. 
They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Hey, Norse gods are cool! No, that won't do. That's a storm. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. The lip syncing in this game is horrible. Don't you think? Yeah, not the lip syncing, the, 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 the uh, mouth animations and whatnot. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. A manuscript page. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? You know what? Yeah, I, I should uh, leave. No. <laughs> we like have that. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, that is I just so noticed. Creepy. Is that Leather patches on the elbows? That wasn't Nicholas Cage. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of okay, the Okay, I'm gonna lane. leave the two loons to their thing. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. the one. Okay, 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 okay. Enough, enough, enough. I stood there way too long without talking. Ooh, c coffee. How did I miss this? I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you-know-who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. Doc's got me looking after Wake here, but I'm not gonna bother. Oh no, it's not this way. It's up. Wait, no, up. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. Oh, you okay, can get it's up to your this room way. By those stairs, Wake. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside my editor is real i saw her again she's not human it's not human a dark presence is wearing the old woman's face she was covered in clinging shadows there's a hole in her chest where her heart should be i think i've made a horrible mistake i don't think i'm any closer to saving alice it's been lying to me using me to get the story at once and the story will come true I actually think that these TV shows or whatever it is they are in the canon are actually real life, like like uh, what's it called, live action. Alex.